Okay. Good morning. Uh, welcome back to the first online lectures about the problem of the knee. You know, my is very active brain. You know, how long the my age could I'm lecture at and the explanation come. And Jerry Pejubas man the role of the menisci in the inside the knee with man improving the articular congruency, increasing stability of the knee, controlling complex and uh, complex rolling and gliding action of the knee, and distributing uh, the load. We were in Ranga presentation, it's not like the real lecture, but I'm, I will try to uh, do my best. And if the menisci is are removed, the articular stress are markedly increased. Why? Because the bone will contact the bone. The medial meniscus is less mobile than the lateral meniscus bas banquet because it is not it's uh, attached to the medial collateral ligaments. Okay? Uh, while the lateral meniscus is not attached to the lateral collateral ligament and this is make it more mobile. So the injury is more in the medial than the lateral because of the current state of attachment to the medial collateral ligament. You can see here this is a diagram of the knee and showing how the uh, medial and lateral meniscus are uh, uh, their relationship and their attachment to the corresponding collateral ligament. This is one of the commonest example of the tear of the menisci which is the bucket handle tear and uh, you can see how the displaced torn fragment inside the knee. I imagine with a status called uh, locked knee. Locked knee. Even in the absence of injury, there is a gradual stiffening and hardening of the meniscus, and this will lead to early tear. So an anterior catusia with the elderly patient that feel in degenerative tear. Degenerative tear happens with simple trauma. No, خوشك عادن يد trauma he was very near. Um, he will complain of sudden onset of pain after uh, twist once he descend from the stair or from the car, and this meniscus will be torn very easily, not like then the adult uh, counterpart. Uh, the split is usually initiated by rotational grinding and uh, any tear of the meniscus induced by rotation and grind. It was a flexion here. For example, while taking weight, while uh, playing football or soccer play, while jumping. Hence, this is why it's common, most common footballers. In middle life, when fibrosis has restricted mobility of the meniscus, tear occurred with relatively little force. Of most of the meniscus, the problem is that most of the meniscus is avascular and uh, spontaneous re repair doesn't occur, except if the tear in the peripheral part where there is a little blood supply. Well, in the rest of the body of the meniscus, the blood supply is not so common, so... Uh, this is make a problem in the healing of the meniscus. The loose tags as, uh, act as a mechanical irritant and give rise to recurrent synovial effusion and sometimes secondary osteoarthritis. The clinical feature usually a patient present with pain. So I get medial bay, medial side, I get lateral bay, lateral side. Sometimes uh, the patient is locked, the patient cannot extend fully the knee. Almost invariably, swelling appear after the trauma for some hours, except drusnava swelling that will appear on the next day sometimes. Sometimes the knee gives way spontaneously, giving way. Sometimes there is locking. Most of the common symptoms, pain, Locking, uh, instability, uh, swelling. Uh. Oh, investigation. Taman, the most important investigation for us to take apart from plain X-ray, 
and arthroscopy was passed as a diagnostic tool but nowadays it is replaced by MRI which is very sensitive it is reach about 95% uh, will reveal the site of the tear and initially we can manage the patient with a splint for three to four weeks in the hope that it will heal by itself otherwise if the patient symptoms persist we can shift to arthroscopy to excise the torn fragment or sometimes we repair the torn fragment if it is feasible she take a pill in meniscal cyst this meniscal cyst is usually happened when the meniscus is uh, torn and the synovial fluid is escaped from the mouth of the tear into this adjacent tissue one it acts like a valve it will prevent the fluid from escape back to the knee one way valve or potential pneumothorax wire Asha. and the, it's also suggested that synovial cell infiltrate into the vascular area between the meniscus and the capsule and the this is a picture showing how the transverse tear developed and the meniscus cyst how the fluid escape beyond the rim of the meniscus one clinical picture can add a lumpeca below the joint line usually it is on the lateral side and there is intermittent pain after activity where the treatment is usually by some arthroscopic decompression a chinanao inaco demake a canao decompression of the synovial tissue and closure of the mouth I'm not sure if it's the cause of anterior knee pain, but I don't want you to recall all of it. But I put number one is referred pain from the hip. This is just to remind you how is the importance of the hip as a source of pain to the knee. Don't forget about this. Osteochondritis dissecans is a disease involving the femoral condyle. And it is mostly uh, discovered in the recent year because of the high level of activity between the adolescent and uh, young adult. Okay, and a small, well demarcated avascular fragment of bone and overlying cartilage separate from the knee, especially as we said from the femoral condyle, and appear as a loose body inside. Most common cause is a trauma. And in 80% it happens in the medial aspect of the lateral femoral condyle. Uh, the area of the subchondral bone become avascular and within this area the separation will start, start from the bone while the overlying cartilage remain intact. With time, this fragment will start to separate and eventually totally dis dispatch. This is a diagram showing the location of the osteochondritis dissecans of the medial aspect of the lateral femoral uh, 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 lateral aspect of the medial femoral condyle and the x-ray showing the defect. This is an MRI. Uh, over a period of month and the fragment will separate totally and it become a loose body and its place is filled with fibrocartilage, fibrosacabneki. Filling crater demaki. Clinical feature the patient is usually between 15 to 20 years of old, present with intermittent pain, swelling, locking, mesh, uh, quadriceps muscles atrophy, there is an effusion of the knee. Okay. And the diagnostic test is pale and Wilson test when the knee is flexed to 90 degree and the foot is internally rotated and gradually you will straighten the knee. While you straighten the knee, the patient will feel pain. If you uh, do, uh, repeat the maneuver with external rotation, uh, you will see that the pain is not so severe like with internal What about treatment? Treatment, if the, if the fragment is stable, is not removed from its space, it's better to leave alone for a period of non-weight bearing for six to eight weeks. In cast, if the fragment is small, less than one cm, yani, 
It should be removed by arthroscopy and the base is drilled in order to induce bleeding to form a fibro cartilage. Large fragment, if it is more than 1 cm, let's say, it should be reattached when fixed in place by bioabsorbable pen or screw. If the fragment is completely detached inside the knee, I'm going to go inside the knee, the crater or the base is cleaned again and drilled and the fracture replaced in its place and fixed with uh, screws. Sometimes the fragment is uh, not suitable for reattachment because of degeneration. You can use craft or sometimes cultured chondrocyte. And it was advanced, but I don't know. There's a picture showing how the osteochondritis of the knee appear. And this is the compression screw. And the picture on the left, lower left, is showing the micro drill happened to induce bleeding. And the lower right showing the osteochondral fragment. What are loose bodies? Loose bodies, يعني uh, they can loose the nauni joint. They can also rattle. They are usually a piece of bone and cartilage, and the source may be a chip of bone and cartilage or osteochondritis desiccans, as we mentioned, or maybe a piece of osteophyte from separated from osteoarthritis or from carcot disease. Or synovial chondromatosis. I mean, I want to have this. I mean, five causes of loose bodies. The treatment usually, if it causes symptoms, it should be removed by arthroscopy. And the treatment of the primary disease it depends on the uh, original cause. In a first subjective osteoarthritis of the knee, طبعاً osteoarthritis of the knee is one of the most common cause of patient complaint that come to the hospital. طبعاً knee joint is the biggest joint in the body and it is the major weight-bearing joint in the body. And uh, osteoarthritis is very common. Most of the time we don't know the cause of osteoarthritis apart from aging. Well, sometimes there is a deformity in the knee, sometimes there is a fracture inside the knee. Sometimes there is ligamentous instability of the knee. Sometimes there is inflammatory disorders like rheumatoid arthritis that predispose to osteoarthritis. Oh, yani, at the end, osteoarthritis is the uh, final outcome of a lot of uh, disease. Uh, it's often bilateral and it is associated with other osteoarthritis of the cervical spine, of the lumbar spine, and sometimes of the Heberden nodules. This is an X-ray showing that the X -ray, this is two grades of osteoarthritis. One of them is mild in the upper one, and the lower one is severe. You can see that the medial compartment is almost involved, and the bone are on bone. On examination, you can see that there is an obvious deformity, varus, or sometimes valgus deformity. There is effusion. There is quadriceps atrophy. There is crepitus. There is tenderness, there is uh, 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 signs of burn on the skin because the patient would like to apply heat over the uh, knee joint. So, and also, our thighs come in spells. I need to say, among Krapabu, to say, among Bashabu, to say, among Bashabu, to say, among Krabi. X ray. Is the primary investigation, and uh, in X-ray we can see that there is uh, should be taken in erect posture, and we can see a lot of classical pictures. There is subchondral sclerosis, there is osteophyte, there is reduction in the joint space, and uh, sometimes we find loose bodies or chondrocalcinosis. The treatment, if the symptoms are not so severe. We can start with simple things like modification of lifestyle, toilet ibore, danish ibore, avoiding uh, uh, standing for long uh, on any sport, مثلا, giving some pain, 
relieving like uh, non-steroidal or uh, paracetamol and warmth so and major minima. Sometimes we might give some intra-articular steroid injection to relieve the pain. Okay. Uh, new forms of injections are also available, which is injection of hyaluronic acid in order to uh, increase the viscosity of the synovial fluid. Okay. Sometimes we can do arthroscopic debridement and if there is deformity of the knee and the compart uh, one of the compartment is involved, we can do one of surgeries that's called unloading osteotomy or corrective osteotomy in which uh, we correct the alignment. And of course the final solution for this problem is joint replacement which dramatically changes the patient's lifestyle. When uh, in a cell lose body, sorry, I think uh, slide one. Yeah. In a cell after swelling of the knee, you know, much more swelling man here in the knee. We have swelling of the entire knee. We have swelling in front of the knee. We have swelling behind the knee. We have a bony swelling. Zor man here. Yeah, do I a second? Acute swelling. An acute swelling may be due to an acute, maybe due to traumatic hemarthrosis, traumatic and yani trauma. There may be fracture, ligament injury. Uh, the knees immediately will get swollen and warm, tender, and uh, there is a dewy feeling. Movement are restricted. Okay, a bit time be acute meniscus one by do project by late. X-ray is very important to exclude fractures in this case. Do I'm cause chiman hair bleeding disorder, man hair like hemophilia, Christmas disease, or mana? But third thing is septic arthritis of the knee, which is a grave condition that happens. The man has systemic feature like a fever, high gear, toxicity, high SR, wide BC count, and this emergency should be as any pus should be drained as early as possible. Subject to hair pain, carcot disease, carcot disease, which is called neuropathic arthritis, is a rare cause of joint destruction because of loss of pain and proprioception. Pain and proprioception. Uh, the articular surface breaks down and the underlying bone crumbles, and the bone deposit in the synopium and become hypertrophied. The patient usually present with deformity, neck pain, with deformity and instability. Usually happens in diabetes or any other forms of uh, neuropathy. Look at the calcified arteries, posterior tibial arteries, and dorsal speedus. And here again, you can see the joints. Here we fix it in place by arthrodesis in the hope that it will heal. Although it is very difficult, these bones will never heal. And it's accompanied by infection. If these cases fail to treatment, we, we may offer amputation to the patient. Carcot arthropathy, it will not unite at all.